Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to a brand new video and this is a very important one for the whole Fortnite community because we've got more storyline content continuing on from yesterday as well as my creative map did get featured in the last few days if you are interested in checking this out make sure you guys do go and do that to simply do it you head over to the discover tab on creative and you can see the canyon race shot right there which is my map as well as you can head over to the brand new hub which is in the game called Top Vehicle Games Showcase which you'll see as an LTM and you'll also find my map on there don't forget to give it a try if you are interested and support me with code postboxpat if you enjoy the map. So let's jump into this and kind of go over exactly what's going on with all the latest Fortnite news. And the first piece we've got for you is actually coming from Singularity. So Donald Mustard today actually told us that Singularity is more than just Singularity. And here you can see Donald himself says one of her names was Singularity, but not just Singularity. So check the little clip out here from Donald from his Instagram. Hey everyone, so I'm going to be sending uh, issue number five to James Harris. Uh, and when I asked him if he wanted me to draw something on it, he said, could you draw a character that's way more important to the ongoing Fortnite storyline than we all realize? Uh, I thought that was an awesome, awesome question. So I'm going to be sending you, James, uh, all of the issues. And let me show you who I decided to draw on there. So here's all the issues. And you'll notice that on issue number five, I drew who you guys know one of her names as, the Singularity. Uh, this is a super, super important character. Uh, and I can't wait for you to see a bunch of the cool stuff that will be happening uh, with her over the next couple of years. So I hope you enjoy the issues. I hope you enjoy the series. And I can't wait for everyone to see what happens in issue five and then issue six, uh, two weeks from now. So you can see from that clip right there, you could tell that obviously Donald is kind of focusing in on Singularity for the next few years. Hypex does refer to her as possibly being Paradigm. We can't confirm any of this. I feel like Singularity has something to do with outside of the loop or maybe even some sort of connection to the actual in-between herself. Maybe even she is the superior, like the superior of everyone in this entire storyline and controls everything or knows more than every single person. Because she did appear in that event for a reason and Donald does explain that she's going to be in the storyline for the next few years. So this is a massive one for the Fortnite storyline. Yesterday we made a really good video on the storyline and if you haven't yet checked that out, please go and give it a watch if you've got some free time. It's really good. So we'll move on to the next topic though because we've got even more storyline related stuff and this is actually coming in from Hypex here and he talks about how Rick and Morty are actually going to be having possible more skins in the game. We might get Mr. Nimbus and Morty's sister from Rick and Morty Season 5 as they are shown apparently in the Season 5 little teaser here which is actually in the map and their assets are also in the files. So yeah, I generally do think these could possibly be a skin within Fortnite similar to the Morty skin and we may even get, oh not Morty, sorry, the Rick skin. I wish Morty was in, but he is a pickaxe. So obviously these could possibly be skins. I do think we might get something like that as we do continue throughout this season. So kind of really exciting stuff there for anyone who's interested in that. Also on the UFO side, apparently according to Hypex, there's gonna be a few different doors which will open up from the mothership and these will actually cause UFOs to hover over the map in different areas. This is kind of easy. Easy? This is kind of interesting. What do I mean easy? I don't mean easy at all. When the mothership fully hovers over the map, it will deploy three new designed UFOs from the doors every three minutes and, and they take 30 seconds to descend. The mothership is also supposed to abduct players from the middle door to the inside for X amount of seconds. I don't know about this. This just sounds like similar to the other ship, but maybe this is right. Maybe the mothership will deploy ships throughout this season. The giant UFO, the giant saucer, as Fortnite do call them. Fortnite do call these saucers, by the way, guys. That's what they call them, saucers. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting to see that they call it all that sort of stuff, and that's the official name of these. And it is also exciting to see where we are going with this in the future, because I do suspect this would be quite a cool mechanic, to be honest, having UFOs come down from the giant mothership. I think that would be quite, quite cool. What do you guys think about that? I don't know, the giant, maybe. I've been calling it the giant for a bit, because I didn't really have a name for it. A lot of people call it a mixture between the mothership, the giant, etc. You know, it's just a giant UFO in it, so mothership, whatever you want to call it. Call it whatever. There isn't really an official name unless Epic do announce one. So, yeah, kind of cool. Also, this one here as well, Shinna pointed this one out to us. You can see in one of the loading screens this season, the Sloan's Mission one, you can see there is a strange structure with kind of like a strange, like, blue face. Now, I don't know what this is. It looks like kind of like a rock slash bubble man. But I wonder if this is more to the storyline, to Sloan. Maybe it's how she got in the loop. Maybe 
this is the leader or the like the leader of io and it's some sort of crazy kind of like god type thing which no one really gets to talk to and it kind of rules over the world a bit like the emperor did in star wars for those that have watched star wars and know the full story that i'm not going to spoil anything but yeah kind of maybe something to do with that some sort of kind of like magical power so yeah i think that would be kind of cool fncs wise as well completely off topic but free mil prize pool any pros watching the video i doubt it but if you are fair enough shout out to you bro Vastpass has also given us a look of the giant ufo above the map which is really cool so you can see an overview of that right here it's basically kind of like a white saucer really on the top there almost looks like a plate you could put some food on that or even a lie galactus on it you could chill on it so imagine if galactus is just lying on that end of the season he just wakes up and he's like yo guys what's up i'm here and he just appears that'd be so funny chances of that's super rare but you know you can dream guys we can dream about these things also this season wise we will be getting another few additions to the season these four weapons here are seen on here you can see on the left side you've got rick's new which is going to be an exhaustive for rick he'll be probably be selling that you've got this kind of like no gravity grenade which is probably going to send people to the sky which is pretty cool you've also got the shotgun as well and possibly a pistol as well coming in all of this kind of futuristic technology which we've got in the game so yeah some really really hyped stuff here and some definitely some up and coming exciting like accessories and weapons to the world of fortnite i'm super super hyped for it so yeah that's really cool and also the next little topic i've got for you guys is actually coming in with the starter pack so the brand new starter pack is coming to the game very very soon here you can see a preview of this this will be in the item shop soon for you guys to pick up so yeah it's a really nice skin actually probably one of my favorite starter packs we've ever received in fortnite so generally overall i'm super excited for this and i think you guys should be as well so yeah it's kind of cool and a really good one to be excited for on the topic of canyon racetrack guys don't forget though if you do get some time guys please do head over to the creative playlist and play on my canyon racetrack on the discover mode it's a really fun map we've put countless hours into this as a community on the discord as well as myself putting all the mechanics together on this it's taken hours the map itself roughly only took probably about an hour to two hours to build the actual design of the map but the actual mechanics yeah took over a week maybe even longer in time playing the game and i constantly tweak them because there's always some sort of glitch or error and there's a bunch of kind of cool like different things around the map as well like that for example we've got a bunch of them like placed around to kind of trip you obviously a bunch of different bumpers all over the map to try and like trick you and kind of like get you in different spots and stuff i think that's something really unique about the course and something we've spent a lot of time on as well as shortcuts different positions and stuff you can see you can go underneath the ramps faster than going over it even when you come down here as well you've also got the giant kind of plane wing which you can go up and take a shortcut over these rocks if you can pull it off it's quite hard to do you've just got to remember to boost and yeah just give it a go guys see if you can beat other people and when you finish this play the free laps there's also another map of mine at the end of it if you want to queue into it called the ring of fire we haven't fully released it on the channel yet but we will be doing it very very soon it's a super interesting map and yeah go and check it out for yourselves guys we've done it on stream a few times for those that know if you don't know play the canyon racetrack three times and at the end it'll give you access to a portal which will actually take you to the ring of fire if you want to go through it so it's up to you if you guys want to do that or not give it a try though i think you will like it it's a really fun map and it's really unique as well if you've not already played it with us on stream. So, yeah, we've actually made a lot of changes to it as well due to a few of the changes with crash pads. So, I think you guys will absolutely love it. I'm just going to stop at the finish line in this one. And I thought as you can watch, I just like to let the other people win, obviously, because I've made them out. I just feel a bit kind of a bit sad if I kind of take the position of someone else, you know. Thought I'd let them do it on this race anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, see if you guys can beat the random people playing the race right now. It won't be forever, so... Play it now rather than later because in the future this map won't get as many plays as it is. It's only getting a lot of plays because Fortnite have decided to put it in the new LCM and it'll only be there for a certain amount of time. So do take advantage of that and enjoy it with other players before you have to go back to play it in it with your friends, which is still really fun. But why not get a full lobby of 16 and see how chaotic it is while you can. So yeah, enjoy it guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone that's helped and supported the channel up to this point with the creative maps. We really are trying our best to produce more creative maps here. It is difficult to do with running two channels as well at the same time but i'm trying my best and i will continue to produce maps for you guys like this so thank you so much once again leave a like comment subscribe and this is postbox pat signing out